Okay, so we've bought something. Uh, first of all, mind my ice gem head. Clearly, my barber didn't know the difference between a medium skin fade and ice gem. Fucking please. So, ignore my actual ice gem head. So, I've bought something. <laughs> it's right in front of me now. Um, there's this method behind the Mandos. This is the highest mileage car I've ever bought by quite. <laughs> A long way, but again, there's method to the madness. This is the first time I've seen. I'm not even looked inside of it. As you can tell, we're actually back home at my mother's house because this was 15 minutes away from my mum's. And uh, I said to my stepdad, "Can you please go and pick it up for me? Because I won't have time to come up." And they've gone and bought it. I've not even seen this car, so this is the first. So let's uh, let's go to the cinematic. It's a bit rough, not gonna lie, but I think it's a I think it's a good van. I think it's a good purchase. But we'll see, because we've got to drive it down to Silverstone in a few hours. I've never even turned the thing on, so... Has it got an oil leak? Oh no, it looks alright at the floor, which is good news. So, let's cut to the cinematic and let's show you what we've got. <laughs> Yes, it's the blowjob badge-mobile. <laughs> it's a transporter! It's a T5 transporter! Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> now, I don't even know where to start this. We've got a true T5 transporter. This was the cheapest transporter I could find on the internet. It literally was the cheapest T5 transporter. There were some T4s, but I really didn't want them. I wanted the T5. That's just because it's a lot nicer. It's got a better engine. They don't rust. And also you can put the T5.1 upgrades on them as well. So I got this for £3,000. It's got a few miles on it. Now I've never even looked inside this thing. I think this is the key. I've never, I've not even looked inside it yet. I've not even opened it. I've not even sat inside it yet. So we're going to open it. I think this is the key. Does the central locking work? Hmm. No. Is this the right key? Huh. This is my T5 transporter, and as you can see, it's got 253,000 miles on the quad. Go on, the girl! Now, this is going to replace the caddy. I actually did sell the caddy, and the main reason is that the caddy is pointless, really. I wanted it to do the true rally routes, and that was going to be the that was going to be the plan uh, to have it as a true rally vehicle to take pictures from and videos from. Because right now we just use the cars, and we wanted a media car, and that was the plan. I made a mistake by buying a caddy because it's small; it doesn't do anything. Uh, and now mainly the, the, the size of the caddy is coming to play because I've got the motorbike. I want something to put the motorbike in. So I wanted a van that could put the motorbike in, could be a media for car for True Rally, and that could actually tow because right now I have the X5 and, you know, and this. And it's just, it's just, it's just pointless because I want to go to the drift days in this because we can fit everything in the back. It's quite dark, but this, his, this has been somewhat camper converted as well which we're going to tear out most of because obviously or we're going to make something else because we obviously want to put the motorbike in but i want to get i wanted the van that can do everything that can tow this can tow two two and i can fit the motorbike in the back so i can go off and we can take the motorbike some crazy places so we got transport t5.1 trying to figure out how to do the central locking how to open everything so it does has it does have central locking because I've just heard it on the key. Let's go and have a look in the back and uh, see what's going on there. Okay, so as you can see, it's been somewhat, somewhat camper converted. Oh my God, is this a chair? Oh my God, is this, this is a, this is a table, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, it's a, some kind of a table. But there's a bed here, so I am actually going to be sleeping in this tonight. So we're going down to uh, to Jackfest tonight and. I want. I should really be drifting, but my car's not ready, so I'm just going doing some filming for the drifting. But as you can see, we've got a load of spare parts. We don't know what. I don't know what that is, but that's some kind of spare part. But we've also got headlights and a grill of a T5.1, so we can do a facelift. All we need is the bonnet. Uh, we just need the bonnet and the bumper. So I've been trying to find some. Let's go in the side door and have a look what's going on. But as you see, we've got a bed here, so we're going to be sleeping this tonight. All the doors open, which is awesome. And it's, as you say, it's been somewhat camping converted. So we've got a leisure battery down there. Uh, we've got plug sockets, which I don't know if work or not. Maybe when it's hooked up to the, again, I'm not an electrician. It's a camper sort of converted T5 transporter. So these could tow two two as well, which should be able to pull the E30. Well, easily be able to pull the E30. I don't actually know if it's got a tow bar on. Or if we got something we can put. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to bolt some kind of tow bar on there. But look at it! So this is perfect because tonight we can stay in this, uh, but we are gonna have to do some kind of camper conversion on the channel because obviously this isn't gonna work because obviously we've got a bed here now, but the motorbike isn't gonna get in. So we're gonna have to make something like a retractable bed or something. I am not a carpenter. It's gonna be absolutely hilarious trying to do this, but we're gonna have some kind of camper project on the channel as well. So I can't wait for this. I'm gonna take it for a quick drive or start it up at least and see what it sounds like. So we've got these here, which obviously, somehow we're meant to go in here and that would make a double bed so we've got the wood like insert here and there so obviously there was a piece of wood which went over here to make it into a double bed but i don't seem to have that so yeah it's a t5 transporter it is the 1.9 engine it's got 20 inch wheels on it's on coilovers already I think it's just cheap old coilovers, but that's fine. Uh, it's got 250,000 miles, and it has got 10 months MOT. So for three grand, I think, well, I think it's a bit of a bargain. This side of the van is really clean. Um, it actually really is. There's no dents or anything. This side's a little bit not as nice, but that's fine. Kuba, you'll be watching. I'm sure you'll be able to help us out. Let's fire her up for the first time. <laughs> right, we ready? Are we ready? Oh. Oh, she loves it. The guy did say it seems like an engine mounts on its way out. So sometimes it's a bit like vibrating, but cool. <laughs> One nine TDI boys. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it drives. It's slow as shit. Oh my god, we need to put a map on this. I can't tell with this. We need a map on it. It drives. Honestly, considering it's got cheap coilovers on as well. It actually drives really well. Like it's not like knocking all over the place, not pulling me all over the road. I, I, I'm happy with this. I did say to me, he did say he's got the engine mount. Um, he's bought an engine mount, he said I can have it if I wanna change it. So I'm hoping it's in this box down here, so. But like the clutch works well. Idle's fine, sounds good. No, it's not smoking from the back at all, which is surprising. Smell, it doesn't smell of oil, which is funny for a, a you know, VW engine. <laughs> Carry on for a bit of a longer drive and we'll uh, we'll go through this box of bits down here and see what we've actually got and see if we've got any goodies. Tons of electrical stuff, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit knocky on the back, I'm not going to lie. So I'm questioning the validity of this MOT because there's an airbag light on it as well. Yeah, so the MOT was like three months ago. So we'll probably get definitely get it up on the ramp and have a look when we get home. Um, because it's definitely a bit knocky on the back. Well, well, something's, something's knocking on the back. It's a top mount or somewhere, I don't know. Um, but definitely question the validity of the MOT in January. But that's all right. I'm happy with it. I'm honestly happy with it. Ah, here's the standard steering wheel with the airbag. That's why the airbag light's on because we've got that wheel on. I remember him saying that. And is this the engine mount? That looks like an engine mount to me. So, oi, he's all right, you know. Like, we've got a load of amp stuff down here and camper things. I have no idea what means what. What's all this wiring? I don't fucking know. Hold up, lads. See this table thing at the back? I've took these plastic bits off that were bolted on here, right? This might fit in there. If this does, I'm going to be a happy guy. Come on. Please say, I want a double bed today. I don't want this. This is boy's barely a fucking single, is it? Come on, come on. Yes, <laughs> no way. I'm gonna fall through that later, aren't I? No, that's a perfect fit. No way, where's my cushions? Please, I want a double bed. <laughs> yes, I just gotta make sure I don't fall out. No, that's solid. That's solid, lads. Lads, I'm gonna be living the fucking dream. <laughs> right, so just change the key battery. It's a 2025, but I've put a 2032 in there. Now the battery is blinking. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to reprogram, and apparently the only way you can reprogram uh, a VW key is you need two keys, which is stupid, or you apparently hold this and then press lock and unlock. But there's no look and unlock button in this van. I swear to God, I've looked around for five minutes. There is no lock or unlock button in the van anywhere. Like, I swear to God. So unless I'm being stupid and someone tells me where they are, I swear to God there isn't a lock and unlock button inside the car. So for now, I'm gonna have to just deal with it. 
So we made it. The transporter made it. We're at the campsite now. Well, we, we, we thought we was camping at the track. I'm gonna be sleeping in the back of the van, but then they told us we can't. So then we've been putting a campsite. Everyone's getting stuck. But the good old transporter, she's just fucking flying through. Look how muddy it is. Are you stuck? Are you all right? I'm all right. All right. <laughs> but I'll show you my setup that we've uh, put together. I found a way to get the dual bed up. Look at this in here. Can't wait, it's gonna be so much fun. So I'm gonna have a beer now and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have uh, one of the guys got a uh, barbecue and stuff. So gonna have a bit of a fun and uh, see you in the next video, lads.